Hi everyone, welcome into my studio today. This is Anne from Ann Makes, and today I have a Dollarama haul to share with you. I stopped at a Dollarama while my son had a doctor's appointment. So this is the Dollarama, I've mentioned it a few times that I don't particularly like shopping at, but I went in there because I had some specific items I needed and I was pretty sure they would have them. Plus, it's the closest one to where my son's appointment was. And considering <laughs> how much snow we have right now, and I knew he would be pretty much in and out of the, the appointment, I just wanted to be, you know, go to the store, get what I needed. But of course, like so many of you as well, uh, I can't buy just what was on my list. No, 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 I have to buy other stuff. So let me show you what I did buy. In, except for one thing I'm not going to show you, which is the cat's litter. Yeah, cat litter. So I'm not going to show you that because yeah, you can think you could, yeah, I just needed a disposable cat litter. And yeah, I got that. Uh, one thing that was on my list was this bin. I needed another bin for some storage stuff. I do have the lid here somewhere. <laughs> but it, I, right now I'm just going to take out the items. The other items that I purchased and another thing that I was purposely going into Dollarama for were the uh, collector's album refill pack or the collect or the trading card pages or the pocket letter pages. Uh, these are one dollar at Dollarama. There are eight sheets in here. I got a whole whack of them. I got actually 10 packages um, because I wanted to have plenty on hand. I got an idea for cataloging my embossing folders. I thought I would cut uh, cardstock to size for each of these little pockets and I would make samples of each embossing folder that I have, of course, label them, stick them in the pocket, and then stick this into my catalog of tools. So that's the idea, but I do not have the time to do that, but I wanted to have the pages for whenever I'm brave enough to actually sit down and do that. I also picked up a package of laminating sheets, again, because I want to laminate a few things and I already have one package and I know what I'll open that package I just wanted to have a backup for the next time I have a project so do you get five in here they're three three mil they're letter size and it's four dollars I don't think that that's the best price I could get on laminating sheets these are the swing line brand let me know if you buy laminating sheets, what's the best deal you've found? And remember, I'm in Canada, so I have to think about, you know, getting them through Canadian sites or they have to ship to Canada or whatnot. So that was what I really needed. I bought it. Uh, I'm happy they have what I needed. And lo and behold, I went down the crappy craft aisle that they have at this Dollarama. <laughs> I don't understand this store. It's always messy. The shelves are half full. And yeah, but lo and behold, they always have some new things that show up at some stores, but not others. It's such a weird store. Anyway, one of the things they still had was this funny cork kit. Cork kit like black bowl basket thingy. I hauled one of these a few months ago, I think, and I got a decorating idea for outside with it, and it involves having two of these, so that's why I picked another one up. Can't believe they still have them. After all these months, they still have a bunch of these, so I got a second one. So I thought I would have uh, the two to put together to make a big ball for decorating outside this summer. Uh, another thing that I purchased, that I've purchased before, I just saw that they had another, they had a few more rolls of this. This one's had the plastic and that's why I bought it, of the vine, this vine thing trim that I really, really like. So I just picked up another roll because I really like it and I used it in different 
projects already so I just wanted to have some more and you get six and a half feet on here yeah two meters a uh, dollar fifty so I got that and then I mentioned the bowl here I think I don't know how much the bowl was I'll have to put the price there so another thing I picked up that's in the decor craft crappy craft aisle at that store our little package of shelves i'm thinking i could use these in this room on a on one of the columns that i have for little knickknacks and stuff i'm not sure if it's gonna work so that's why i just bought one i hope it works these are four dollars they're pretty heavy they're just little decorative shelves uh, that you hang on the wall you know and they hang stuff from them and you put stuff on them they're shelves okay so i got that now another repeat purchase and just because i haven't seen this at the other dollarama that i do like to go to in a while so uh what it is is i picked up some of this decorative rope the satiny cord type of rat tail you know the satin stuff so I just picked up some basics that can be used in different things that I make and sewing and crafting, etc. cetera, uh, macrame, whatever. So I got the white, this beige and black, just some basic colors just to uh, restock my stash. And these are $1.25 and you get one and a half feet. Is that what it says? I think it says 1.5 or 15 feet. Please tell me that's 15 feet. Yeah, 4.6 meters, so it's like 15 feet. Okay. Sorry, I'm not, I don't have my glasses. <laughs> um, so, also in the crappy craft aisle, they still had some packages of the yarn. They have one package left of the, the bright colors. I picked it up, these mini yarns. These are $4, just because if you saw my plaid video this week i received some tools for making pom-poms and tassels and i just thought these would be the perfect size to make a bunch of pom-poms and tassels with the new tools so i could try them out and you know post my opinion about the tools and all that so uh, i got these and i thought these are really nice bright happy colors it'll be fun it'll be fun to do that there was one package of these pink little and coral colored paper flowers. I think these are really pretty. I find these are great value uh, for, you get 12 for $1.25. Again, I'm not dissing the craft industry that I work in and that often pays me, but the fact of the matter is uh, I've seen very, very similar products with a big brand name and uh, for us here in Canada, first of all, they're hard to find. One thing, it's very hard for me to find some of that stuff. Second of all, if and when I do find it, it's extraordinary how much I have to pay for this. Uh, so yeah, I got this for $1.25. I've seen a similar thing uh, and to get it shipped to me would cost me almost $8. So sorry, that's why I buy it at Dollarama. I picked up another roll of this ribbon, the pink one, because I had bought one of each color of the ribbons last time. These are really pretty fabric ribbons, textile ribbons. They're six and a half feet on here. They're $1.25. They're just a perfect size for what I'm using the other one for. So I got a second one and I'll have to show you that in another video quick video of a review to uh, of a product that I got and I use those ribbons with I picked up a couple packages of the pretty little craft flowers again these are $1.25 you get six they're kind of lacy looking and I also got them in this color just I just find them very pretty I just like to have lots of flowers in my uh, my stash or when I want to craft and add a little flower, so I have it. I picked up a package of the resealable storage bags. You get 72 in here for a dollar twenty-five, and I think this will be the right size for my leftover diamonds from my diamond art painting. So I just wanted to have some 
of my own bags. And I've seen people haul uh, these boxes of acrylic jewel assortment. I had not been to a Dollarama in over a week. So this crappy Dollarama actually had these. Can you believe it? Like I said, this is a weird store. They had this, it's a new item. And this is, they only had this color and they had several boxes of this one. And it's really hard for me to describe the color. They're kind of, oh, there's a name for this. They, they're kind of golden, but when you twist them a little bit, they're kind of purplish golden. There's a word for this. I can't remember what it is. So, and they're big, they're pretty big. I haven't seen the other sizes and other colors that other people uh, have hauled from their Dollaramas. This is all I have found. And yeah, and they're they're pretty big to medium size. And they're lovely, they're, they're lovely shades of yellowish clear glass golden with some violet mixed in. It's, it, yeah, that's very hard to describe. I saw the cutest little wood wooden embellishments. They have these packs of 18 tiny little birds. They're $1.25 and I'm bringing them as close as I can to the camera. They're so cute. This is my thumb. See? They're so cute and they have a little sticky adhesive on the back. So this is one style they had. Uh, here's the other style. This I just love this one with little birdies on the branch. There were some little butterflies like this. And there was also this style of butterflies. If there's other types uh, in the same, I don't know. This is what I saw at this Dollarama. Like I said, it's a really weird store, but you know, I take it, I take what I can from them. And a brand new item. And I was just watching Tina's haul from she went she went to Dollarama recent very recently as well, and she hauled the the fairies. So there were gnomes at my store, gnomes, tiny little like fairy garden gnomes for two bucks. You know how much these are in other stores that I'm not going to name right now. <laughs> and they're really like they're nice. They look like nice quality. They're nice. So I got this little nose with the mushrooms. They're $2. That store that I went to, again, my Dollarama with the crappy craft aisle, only had gnomes. That's it. It's just like these jewels. They only had this color and they only had these gnomes. Nothing else. So if, if you want gnomes and you have other stuff in your store, let me know. <laughs> and this store, which is not my favorite store again, had the craft bead assortment in green only green the last time i hauled the box at my favorite store they're they're pink so i got a box of pink and in this store i got a box of green so, and they're 350 for this box and that's all the gems gems pearls bead stones my store has that's it that's all nothing that store has that's it that's all it's not my store it's the crappy one okay uh, I went down the stationary aisle to get the baseball card, well, the trading card protector pages. And they had these Pilot Friction highlighters. And I just like, oh, they're Pilot and they're Friction. Um, pastel Collection. Chisel Tip Sorted Inks Erasable Highlighters. Erases Clean. Highlight and Erase with a Pastel Yellow and a Pastel Green. And I thought, oh. I might really like these. So I'm going to give these a try again. Um, I will put the price here because I can't see anything right now. I don't have my glasses. So I got that. I have a couple more items. I saw these notepads. There's 280 lined pages on them. I like the size. They're not too big, but they're nice and thick too. And it's nice thick cardboard. They're three dollars and fifty cents and they had some different styles. And I'm not showing you the front yet because I know you're gonna laugh when I show you the front. Uh, I picked this one because of what the cover says. It says, oh you can't really see it in the glare, it says stuff I should remember but probably won't. 
<laughs> yeah, that's me. I write things down and then I forget them, like doctor's appointments, you know? I go, I show up a month early. Go see my other video, you'll understand. Um, so yeah, I got this nice pad to write stuff down that I need to remember, but I probably will forget. So I got that, $3.50, and it's a good pad. And last but not least, I was pretty stoked about finding this. I wasn't looking for it. I went down the tool aisle. I'm always on the lookout to see nifty things. And they have this really cool sandpaper, a premium latex base sandpaper. It is the brand Rolling Dog, Rolling Dog, the Peak 2 Abrasive Sheets. Now, if you see this sandpaper, you will see it has different grits, grit, grit sizes. And this, this was the only package in the P800. And I felt it and I was like, oh, I haven't been able to find this paper at an affordable price in years. So I grabbed it. And what I've used this paper for in the past is because I'm very, I'm very pretentious about my tools, my sewing machine that I've had. I've had my sewing machine for over 20 years, maybe 25 years. I love it and I take really good care of it. And if I get a little nick in the, the bed of it or something, I smooth it. I have this tiny little piece of sandpaper that I once got from someone who works on cars. And um, yeah, you have to wet it and you have to use it. It's really great for taking little tiny burrs out of metal. So now I'm gonna have a lifetime supply of this stuff. Uh, and it says on here that people who work on cars and who work, it's good for metal, plastic, uh, different surfaces. It's the kind that you wet and you sand with. So I just jumped on this and um, I know the price was pretty fair. Nine inch by 11 inch, five pieces. So uh, if you have someone who works a lot with metals and needs really good quality sanding paper for other things besides wood, that you could use this on wood, of course. It's super, super fine, super smooth. It's, I'm not hurting myself at all right now. Um, yeah, then go check this out because I think that's a really good deal. And that is it for my Dollarama haul. It's not that huge, but uh, I'm happy with what I got. And yeah, let me know what you find in your store because I saw the gnomes. I saw these unidentifiable colored gems and the beads that only are, seem to be in green at this one store. Let me know what you find and uh, yeah, and what you're going to do with that. Now, stick, remember, if you watched my uh, video this week, you may have seen me mention that on Saturday, the 23rd, we are Thursday currently. So in two days from now, on Saturday, the 23rd, there will be videos going live starting at 9 a.m. our time, which is, my time is Eastern. It's 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, um, where some of the influencers slash designers who work in the same industry as I do will be presenting projects made with the same supplies that were given to us in our swag bag as creator VIPs. So you're getting a sneak peek of it now because even my colleagues don't even know what it looks like because I wasn't, I couldn't be bothered to take a picture and post it on our Facebook group. But this is my piece and um, you can see on Saturday, how I put that together, there's gonna to be a video fast forwarding through all the steps I used and all the products I used. And mind you, the, the challenge was that we all use this, almost the same products from the same companies that were given to us in our bag. So that's what is happening. And the fun thing for you guys is that we will be having sponsored giveaways. And the more you, more of the videos and blog posts you visit, videos you watch and blog posts you go to and you comment, you will be entered uh, 
in the giveaway. So the more the more you comment, the more you watch, the more you comment, the greater your chances. And yeah, there's some some prizes, some giveaways being uh, sponsored by various companies. So please uh, don't forget to check my video on Saturday and also that those of my colleagues and all the links will be provided in the description of uh, my video. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing my haul. Hope you're inspired to get crafty. Wherever you are, I hope you are safe and warm <laughs> here. We're safe, but we're not very warm. It's cold outside. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe also. If you are not subscribed, that would be great. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye.